We're gonna make the world's largest sushi roll. 2,000 pounds of well-seasoned sushi rice, 500 pounds of sushi-grade salmon, 500 pounds of fresh cucumbers, thousands and thousands of sheets of nori, and millions of sesame seeds. Here's me for scale. This roll will weigh the same as 45,000 regular sushi rolls. But there's just one problem. We have lots and lots of salmon, and these babies aren't gonna fillet themselves. And that's why we're gonna warm up for today's record with another record attempt. The fastest time to fillet a 10-pound fish. The current record to beat is indeed set by Gordon Ramsay at one minute, and five seconds. Good luck. Gordon, you better watch out. Cooperate, Mr. Salmon. Nick needs all the help he can get. All right, Andy, am I good to go? On my count. Ready? Yeah. Three, two, one, go. Good job, Nick. The current record stands at one minute and five seconds set by Gordon Rams. Nick, today you achieved one minute, 0 0.29 seconds. Congratulations, it's a new Guinness Ooh. World Records title. There we go. Another one for the record books. Great work today, fish. Now that we've finished filleting our salmon, it's time to get going with the main event. Linja, where do you get those chopsticks? What? We're making a big sushi roll. In front of us is our giant seven foot sushi mold. The first step is to toss on our booties. Because we're gonna have to be walking inside this thing. What are those? We'll start by layering in our 500 pounds of cucumbers. Given how big this sushi roll is, we can keep these babies whole. We needed a lot of helpers for this. So we've got the whole team in town today. This is the most cucumbers I've ever seen in my life. The forces on the sushi are gonna be so extreme. We're gonna have to put rice around the side to lock everything in. So should we be putting rice around it right now first? Yeah, I think that makes better sense. Okay, and what would happen if we just filled too much of one side and didn't do the other. The whole mold could fall over or burst or any number of bad things could happen. If that happens, Manny's getting fired today. I know that much. What? So to start out, we're gonna put some rice all around the edges to sort of give a nice foundation around the ring that's in the middle here. I'm adding a little bit of vinegar and oil to this, which will not only make the rice taste better, but it'll also help us to fluff it up a little bit more. Nick, don't squirt on Linja. Where I'm standing right now is where all the sushi grade salmon is eventually gonna go. All those boxes behind me, that's all sushi grade salmon. And that's not even all of it. Once again, we have 2,000 pounds of rice here today. That's probably more rice than a sushi restaurant would need for the entire week. At this point, we'll begin taking our first fillets of fish and look at how beautiful those are. These I'm gonna carefully layer all the way around the center of our mold until we have all 500 pounds of it. The one thing I'm learning about some of these world records now is that it often turns out to be more of a workout than anything else. Don't be such a baby, Nick. Nick, Linja, you guys are off to a great start. You've got the nori. You got two fillings, and you have the cold vinegar dressed rice. Well seasoned, too. Compliments to the chef. Damn, I'm really hungry. As you can see, our sushi roll here is starting to take fantastic shape. The whole first layer is all set. We've got our rice, our nori, our cucumbers, our salmon, and we're continuing to season all the rice and fluff it up so that we can make sure it's nice and light, the same way you'd have in a normal sushi roll. You gotta massage that rice. After a little lunch break where we had some chipotle, we're back to layering all of our rice. The salmon is dangerously close to the top at this point, as are the cucumbers. So now it's all about just finishing strong and shaping this into a full mega sushi roll. This thing is getting so big at this point that we're just gonna go around the whole thing with some tape to really reinforce it and make sure that the thing doesn't split right open, pouring all this sushi rice, salmon, and cucumbers all over the floor. If you haven't liked the video, we got a problem. And subscribe. Gotta keep the rice moist. We're at the home stretch here, trying to fluff up all the rest of this rice to make it fit evenly around the fish and the cucumbers. But one of the biggest challenges of today is gonna be pulling this middle ring mold out. Our hope is that it all stays in place to make a perfect sushi roll, but anything could happen. Oh, and here's the last tub of rice. My back is really starting to hurt from carrying the team all day. How's it looking, guys? It looks amazing. But it's not yet officially amazing. Oh, come on. Now that we've finished building our sushi roll, the next step is to take the center portion out. That's gonna be tough. Our best idea is to take a knife and shove some holes through the side, which hopefully we can use as handles to pull it all out. It's definitely gonna be hard to pull. I'm gonna go all around the side of the mold, making a few of these handles, and then it's gonna be a big team effort. All right, we're all gonna pull together on three, two, one, pull. Whoa! 
That's amazing! Wow! Look how clean the edges are! Engineered to perfection. Let's give a quick cross to the engineer. To finish things off, we're gonna layer these cucumbers all the way around to make a nice pretty pattern on the top. This thing's gonna look as good as it's gonna taste. Before Andy comes in to judge, regardless of whether or not we get this record today, just take a look at how truly massive this sushi roll is. You could fit a hundred linjas in this thing. Today you guys have just completed an official Guinness World Records attempt for the largest sushi roll by width. I've looked at this very beautiful roll and I've verified that you guys have used cold vinegar dressed rice, nori seaweed sheets, and at least two fillings. And it is a scaled up version of a single piece of a traditional sushi roll. Now the record to beat was two meters, which is roughly six feet, 6.74 inches. I'm measuring to see the diameter of the sushi roll at its widest point across. Today you guys achieved seven feet, one inch. Congratulations, you're officially amazing. This entire sushi roll will now be picked up by my teammates at FarmLink and donated to a homeless shelter in Boston. None of this food will go to waste.